So today we are going to discuss about pods in Kubernetes. That is, what is pod in Kubernetes? Okay. After you have understood what is Kubernetes, what is the use case of it, etc. The next thing that is important for us to understand is pods. So pod or pods, okay. According to Google, pod or pods are the most or smallest deployable object in Kubernetes. Okay. They are the smallest deployable object in Kubernetes. Okay. Now, inside pods, there will be containers. Okay. So, what are pods? Pods are the smallest deployable objects in Kubernetes. Now, what does it mean? Now, let us say that in C programming language, what is the most basic thing to begin with? Variables, correct? So similar way in Kubernetes, the basic to basic thing that you can think of in Kubernetes is pods, okay? Now, I'll, let us take an example. Let us say that you have a Tomcat image. Let us say you have a Tomcat image, okay? Where is this Tomcat image? This Tomcat image is in Docker Hub, let us say, okay? You want to run this Tomcat image on Kubernetes. Where will you run it? Now, this Tomcat image will run inside a pod, okay? So what will be the process? We are not going to go to the commands, etc., etc. I'm going to, I'm trying to explain the overall architecture here. So let us say that we have this the Tomcat image and you want to deploy this image. So this will be deployed inside a pod. Meaning it also means that inside this pod, there are containers present, okay? So pod will contain what? Pod will contain the containers, okay? Now the containers are built, containers are built basically using the images that is there in the Docker. So hopefully this is something that you are able to visualize now, okay? So the container is built using the Docker image, correct? And this Docker image is in Docker, okay? So the Tomcat image that is present in the Docker is deployed into Kubernetes as a container, and this container will reside inside a pod. I hope, I hope this is clear. Now the question is, can we have multiple containers? You can definitely have multiple containers inside a pod. That is not a problem, okay? So this is the meaning of pods in Kubernetes, okay? Now you can imagine pods as a, a group of containers. Now our uh, Kubernetes database or uh, our Kubernetes master is only aware of a pod, okay? He will not be aware of containers, okay? He will be taking care of the pod and pod will be taking care of the containers itself, okay? So this is the idea of pods in Kubernetes. So sometimes in Kubernetes, uh, if you see that there are multiple containers in the pod, this is the reason, okay? Okay, let us go back to understanding what is a pod. Now, pod is the smallest object in Kubernetes that can be controlled by Kubernetes, and it contains single or multiple containers. These containers can be deployed using a Docker image. Here, I would like to stress a point that you see that there is no hard and fast requirement of Docker here, okay? Docker is only required here to build, Docker is only required here to build the, build the image of Tomcat, okay? After the image is built, Docker is not really required in this case because once the container is created, Kubernetes will take care of it and the container that is created will be inside this pod. Okay, so the reason I'm explaining this in detail is because a lot of people just say a pod and they don't explain it. So here is a pretty good example of what is a pod and what the pod contains and what does it have, okay? Now, you might ask a question that, Raghu, where are pods itself present, okay? See, pods itself are present inside
pods itself are present inside okay i don't know what i can draw here okay pods itself will be present inside ec2 instances okay so let me draw an ec2 instance basically and then move this here okay let's not do that okay so pods itself will be present inside the ec2 instances okay so a single ec2 instance can have multiple pods okay i'll draw it in the other place so that it is clear so we will take this as an ec2 instance now inside this ec2 instance we can definitely have multiple pods okay we will have what we will have we can have definitely multiple pods again what will pod contain pod contains the different containers so you can see here so there are different pods here okay pod 1 pod 2 and pod 3 these can all contain different containers and this machine itself can be an ec2 instance but this ec2 instance that you are going to see this ec2 instance that you are seeing must have kubernetes agent present okay it should have k8 agent present only then it makes sense okay now the pods will be provisioned which means if an ec2 instance has to get pods assigned then it must have kubernetes agent and this is where kubernetes installation comes into picture okay so i hope this example this small example gives you a better perspective better idea about what is a pod in kubernetes okay that's all for this small video thanks a lot for your time